And my dad calls this RTB. Read the book. If you don't know what you're doing in life, he says, RTB, just RTB. Well, I started reading the book and following the instructions. Now, you have to understand that I worked for these people who were supposedly the technical gurus of the business with all their secrets and you know mysterious ways of getting things done. And all I simply did was get the book, read the book, and apply what I learned. And I want to impress that upon you too. Like now you can, you don't have to RTB. You know, you can JGI, you can just Google it. So right before you is you, you have so much information and so much um, access to information that you can really, you know, you can do whatever you apply yourself to do. So I want you to really soak in. I don't care what you want to be. I, I, I'm a realist. I, I don't believe that you can be anything you want to be when you grow up, I mean, contrary to what your parents may say, like I, I'm, you know, five nine was a chubby guy. I, I run slow with stress, but I could not be an NBA basketball player. That's just not in my wheelhouse. But there are other things I can do. My point is that what you want to do, what your passion is, and what you're capable of doing, there's nothing to hold you back. And I love school. You know, I, I, I wish, like I think every day, if I didn't have a job, I'd just go back to school. So um, I didn't choose the college path. But I'm certainly advising you to choose the college path and just learn all that you can. But at the same time, what I want you to understand is that there's so much education right at your fingertips, like right in this room and right with the exercises that you're getting ready to do, just learning and applying yourself. And if you can augment that through college or vice versa, then I think you will achieve whatever you want. So anyway, um, we're looking forward to sharing what we know. Like I said, I'm an old goat. I learned things the old-fashioned way before digital and before iPhones and the internet. I mean, I'm like old. I remember the old days, pen and paper all the time. Um, and I want to share some of that because some of what has not changed is storytelling. You know, we tell stories for a living. And what convergent journalism about is about is telling stories using all the mediums. Because in the old days, there was a writer, there was a photographer, and there was a videographer. Now, you guys can converge, y'all can do all of that. You can go out and tell a story, you can video it, you can take pictures, you can produce your story all on your own. We're shooting professional videos somewhere around here on uh, iPhone 11, the Pro Max, and the quality uh, the capabilities of it rivals what we used to spend, you know, seven, eight thousand, ten thousand dollars for camera. So, the tools and technology are at your fingertips, and you're living in an age where communication is like, it's just amazing. I mean, the fact that you guys can, can take your phone and communicate all around the world is just mind-blowing. So, I think uh, career path-wise, communication and journalism is something that you can carry with you wherever you go. Storytelling is something you can tell, carry with you wherever you go. Um, if you end up being the chemist or the scientist or the home builder or whatever it is, the publicity skills and the journalism skills that you can learn will help you in that career. So, um, what we expect to do with the program is share with you some real world experience and, and lab exercises where you produce video, write articles, do photos, um, work on some podcasting. Um, all the convergent media, we want you to have that experience when you're here, here with us. Um, does anybody in here have a LinkedIn profile? Um, a couple of folks have LinkedIn. Um, we're going to be doing headshots um, with you guys um, and helping you create a LinkedIn profile if you don't want. Um, LinkedIn is like your life resume these days, you know. Um, now, if you're, you, you know, y'all probably are aware of this, but social media, like employers look at social media, right? I mean, so if you're doing funny stuff on that, that can help you or hurt you in your career. Um, but LinkedIn is where you go to make your professional space, and it's where your lifelong resume starts. And so one of the um, outcomes we want for you here is to establish your LinkedIn page or augment it with some of the work that you do here. And the assignments that you do here, I'm telling you, it doesn't matter what you major in, what career path you go, the assignments and experience you get here will look really good on your resume and be a great building block for you.